This is a Kevsov risk loss presentation. In this video. This is an update to my train time table application for risk loss called Train Times. Now the first thing you notice is different. If you look on the icon bar, you've got the uh, station name down here. And when I click on the station, that will change the name of the station. Let's go on to Fountain. I was in. You can see here. Another thing you may notice different is on here you got departures and arrivals. This may affect terminal stations where the train either starts or ends there. Because if it starts, it already show the departures and not the arrivals, and vice versa. I'll show you that we're going to another one. Let's go to Leeds, which is the terminal station. You see here one starts at Leeds here and we click arrivals. You can see what starts Leeds. Sorry, the arrivals no ends in Leeds rather than starts from there. Another one you'll you'll find a change on here. I can find Leeds Bradford Airport. Well, Leeds Bradford Airport here. Click on here. Now we've got the top here, you'll notice that the info button's gone. That's because it's not a uh, network rail station, so there's no information about that. So we go into here and go back to Leeds, and click on the info button, you notice there's more information ab about the station. And the save has been altered. N that was on the uh, previous version, now save full, saves the full information either in text or HTML formats. I'll just show you that in a minute. Click on here, drag that from there to there, put that into a text editor. You can see information there on the text, main text file. Now, if we save that as a HTML, we'll call that one, click there. I load that into a web browser and you see there it space refresh the station. I do try do plan to have more information to the station which is a long hard progress because the network rail XML feed is a bit weird. There's inconsistency everywhere with it. it this application can be downloaded from my website. A link will be in the description. It does require an internet connection and WGET, again a link in the description. The time tailoring data it comes from Real Train Times API site, again a link in the description, and the station data comes from Network Rail, again a link in the description. If you do like my software, why well, buy some of my merch or donate money through my Ko fi pages? Again a link in the description for everything. Thank you, goodbye, and see you on the next video. Whatever that's going to be about, I don't know, but. Keep using Riscos and enjoy. Thank you and goodbye.